What's the story, lads? Um, just gonna show you our Minecraft obstacle course here. Got the idea more or less off uh, Achievement Hunter. Don't want to take credit for most of it. Some of it is our own, but most of it is their ideas. I'll put a link in the description to uh, check out theirs as well if you want it. So, uh, anyway, here's the start. I'm gonna start now and uh, show you through it. And uh, you can leave a comment below if you want to try it out. Maybe get the best time and you can uh, get your name up here. So, uh, here we go. Not a good start. Two lava jump. Now here you take a right, take a boat out of this chest. Hopefully this works first time because it hasn't. But well, a few times I've tried it. Nope. That's a fail. We get the boat out of the chest again. There will be enough boats in here so you can do it. If it fails every time, they're gonna have to swim. Sorry, lads. Here we go, it's working. Job done. And so basically you just take your boat up here, come to the end here where the two cobblestone bricks are. If your boat doesn't crash and break, that is. You wouldn't think I had the best time in this course with the way things are going. And then you come up this ladder, it takes about 15 seconds to up this ladder because it's up as high as you can go. Just keep going straight up and then you get to the top and you just go down the slide. You get, while I'm going up the ladder, lads, just uh, if you can leave a like or sub even subscribe if you wanted, there will be more videos and we will uh, possibly capture videos if anyone wants to uh, try the course out. Just uh, as I said, leave a Comment below with uh, your game attack and then uh, sort you add you and uh, invite you to the game. And there you have a shot. So, uh, anyway, you just when you come down the slide, you just swim back to uh, this tower here, tower type thingy. Come uh, up onto the sandstone here. When you get to the wall, swim under the flames. So. In under here, I'm doing this on peaceful at the moment, but uh, if you want to try it, it will be put on easy, so uh, it takes health off every time you do it. So, when you get to this bit, you just take the pickaxe out of the chest here, and there will be a fork drop in there if you need it as well. So. See the bits marked by stone here, basically you just mine through them, I'm not going to go all the way through because it takes about a minute. So uh, you go all the way through, I'll just go to the other side here. You see, falling off everything today. So you come through either this side or this side, whichever side you decide to mine through, just go up one of the ladders. And when you get to the top here, there should be a pumpkin. So, you mine the pumpkin. Oh, no way, it fell off. So, hopefully the pumpkin doesn't fall off like it did there. And you don't have to jump off and maybe you don't. Go back up the ladder, put the pumpkin on your head. And then uh, you'll have to jump across this bit. With the glass marked out here, I'll show you that. So you put the pumpkin on your head and it gives you pumpkin vision. So uh, jump across. There will be signs mapping out what you have to do on the course as well, just in case I'm talking too fast and you don't really know what's going on. So when you get to this bit, take off the pumpkin, just put it on the ground there, and you walk through the basher here. Now, if it knocks you off, you're going to have to come back up and try again. Basically the same with any bit of the course. Okay, so when you get here, there's a maze of fire. You're going to have to walk, find your way through the maze. I shouldn't really be giving the way through the maze in this video, but for the sake of the video, we'll just show it away. We might, we might change it. 
So anyway, when you get to here, jump in the one by one bit of water. Yes, that one square of water here. Okay, I missed. So if you miss, like I did, you might die. Then you'll have to respawn. So uh, you'll start back at the start of the course, basically. And uh, you'll end up at the start of the course. But because I spawned here, it's my room. We'll uh, make you spawn at the start of the course. Don't worry. So I'll show you around the rest of the village while we're here anyway. This is uh, my house. I have my beds here, I love lamp. My bed, no nightmares loud, thank you very much. We have Alberto over here, he keeps an eye on my chest so nobody steals them. Then uh, we have my piston door up here. Come up the ladder and through the trap door. Now, these are our street lamps, so we're going to get these all along the um, all the pathways kill a piggy this is one of our mines here basically it's a big mine but we haven't really gone down as far as we have in other mines I'm going to show you everything else here and now starting over here at our to-do list stuff to do build a castle which we've nearly done I'll show you that in a second fix lava and mine which we've actually done so get rid of that Build a wooden horse, put a minecart in the mine, which is the mine straight ahead of us there. We've gone down to bedrock, I'm not going to bore you with walking all the way down because it takes ages. Put lamps everywhere is basically what I was saying, lighting up all the lamps. Build a sphinx, because as you can probably see out of the corner there, we have a pyramid, which I'll show you now. Put a door in the pyramid as well. Tidy up the course with wool, which I've more or less done. We will be putting it in more places just to make it look better, basically. That's uh, our original house where we started. Show you walk in a few tests here. They're all empty obviously because we have our own little houses around and about. A few paintings there just to beautify the place, you know. So we come up here, this is our petting zoo with a few cows in it. And uh, this is the pyramid here. It is 50 by 50. It did take us a hell of a lot of time to build getting sand, change it to sandstone and so on. And that's our gold entrance. We're looking to get a door, We're trying to do something with pistons but we couldn't really get it working. If you have got any ideas, leave them in the comments below, really appreciate it. Uh, on the inside we just have torches in lighting up the place for now because we are looking to build stuff inside it, maybe turn it into a house of some sort. But. Uh, as I said, we have to come up with a door for it first. Now, you may be wondering what the hell they are. I will go to the front and show you. This, as you can probably tell at the moment, is an elephant. Now, Morris, who is also in this world with me, built these two. I, origi I originally changed his elephant and put tusks on it, but he wasn't happy with the tusks, so he knocked some down. This is a monument to Shane Gleason. Just had to try that in there. This is our hippo over here, as you can see, very, very good in my opinion. I think it's very good. One of the better things we've built. And I say we, Morris built most of it. And then you come up here, Morris has a trap door and ladder. Don't know why he took it out. Ah, because he moved it, that's why. So you come in here, come up the trap door and ladder, and you're inside the hippo. And that's where Morris's room is, he has all his stuff in here. And all chests and all like that. So we'll come down here. I'll show you. That's our portal there. Um, I will show you the castle in a sec. I just want to show you something. Now I am, um, admittedly I got this off YouTube. I, they didn't really explain how to build it. But um, I will put the link in the description below if you are interested in uh, building it. But uh, here's a sign. You the Batman. You walk out. Crouch. Giant flaming Batman's in them. That uh, it didn't take that long to be honest. It only took about half an hour. All, all you need is lots of cobblestone and lots of netherrack. And I think I went through about two, three flint and steels. I remember that. That's just um, a little hut. There's nothing in it really. Um, over here, swimming pool. In the process of making it deeper. As you can see, it's only one deep at the moment. 
and now I'll show you the castle. Now the castle has two entrances, and of course they both have to be secret entrances because it wouldn't be good if they went basically. So first one there's a piston door of sorts. You come in here, this is still being built as I said, so all this grass isn't going to be here, we will replace all that. And the inside looking a bit bare at the moment, but we will fix all that as well. And uh, I'll just show you the inside of the towers. We have stairs going all the way to the top, as you can probably see. And then we have tower in each corner, and then a joint tower in the middle. So there is one more entrance that I'll show you. I'll go out here and I'll uh, show you the entrance now. I can get out of time, yeah. Right, so you may be thinking where the other entrance is. Basically, jump into the moat here. There's no alligators around like that, don't worry. Walk straight in through this gap, and there you go. If you want to know how to do um, this door here, the sign and the water door is, is very easy to do, but if, if you want to know how to do it, just leave a comment below and uh, i glad to help you out. But uh, yeah, you just come up here and basically back where I was. So um, that's it, guys. If you want to leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe, uh, much appreciated. And um, also leave a comment if you want to uh, try out the course. Bit of fun, and you might get famous, put you up on YouTube, and um, see if you can beat my time. But we'll uh, arrange some awards. I don't know. We might do a new series where we um, start a new world, and maybe if you beat the time. You can uh, build a house in the world or build a house in this world or something. We'll sort something. If you have any ideas about a reward we could give or do Minecraft related, then just uh, leave it in the comments below. Cheers, guys. See you later.